Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy Jay Nark and today we are rebuilding the Oakland Raiders or the Oakland Raiders the Las Vegas Raiders And Dean Strauss is the Raiders head coach This is what their team looks like with um, all the acquisitions they made They still have Colton Miller who I still feel like has yet to prove that like he's actually like that Alex Leatherwood is one of their top picks from last year and um, for the offensive line, they just re-signed Hunter Renfro actually to um, to his deal. So the team's not too bad. It's a pretty interesting looking squad here, and I feel like we're gonna try things differently when it comes to the doing rebuilds. Jayon Brown signed with the Raiders. I did not know that. Is Chandler? What is Chandler Brown? Okay, so we need him to be rushing the edge. They run a four-three. Why would they run a four-three with this team? You're kidding me, right? Why Why are they running a 4-3? Yeah, just run a 3-4. <laughs> run a 3-4. Literally run a 3-4. Like, we got Jayon Brown, a field general, and Denzel Perriman in the middle. Chandler Jones. We need him as, okay, he'll be fine at his position. And then we have um, Max Crosby. Same thing, he'll be fine at his position. D-line, it works for the D-line and corners are not too bad, honestly. It could be a bit better, though. But I like how the team looks. I feel like, so Cleveland Farrell, like, he is not going to amount to who I want him to be. So we could move him for a D-lineman, which I think would be nice. I think I'm going to work on some overalls, too, just to make it seem more, I don't know, realistic. I feel like, like let's say Alex Leatherwood, he should be, like, a 72. So I'm thinking of moving Cleveland Farrell for like maybe offensive line help. Like the left guard position wouldn't hurt too bad to try to like upgrade because Cleveland Farrell, he's not going to really make the team as like I'd like him to because he's just, you know, he's like a top four picks and he's just not that solid. So we just, we trade for Neetain Moody, get rid of Denzel Good. I feel like we'll have a young piece to work with. So if we give them like a fifth rounder for Neetain Moody, that's not going to work. A fourth rounder straight up could work for Neetain Moody. It doesn't because he's young. guess that makes sense. A third rounder goes through. We get Neetain Moody, which helps out, us out a lot. Then we can move on from Denzel Good. I don't want to release him. I want to see if we can maybe like get maybe another nose tackle because we changed the defense to a 3-4. And that should, um, you know, for Max Crosby and... Uh, for I think Chandler Jones that'd be good for him as well too so a couple teams are yellow for Denzel good uh, let's see anyone else yellow okay so Bengals are interested that's a, like a top need and apparently we want a left end what left ends do they got they just got Sam Hubbard um, I just want to back up D tackle if anything like literally any backup D tackle would work because we just need someone for depth purposes, honestly. So, yeah, just for depth. Like, someone in the high 70s, like Osa Ozigiwa. Wow, they were close to it. So, Eagles, we could try them. Eagles or Falcons, we can try them to see what we could get. Milton Williams, he's a 70 overall. Yeah, that would probably go through. Why not? Perfect. So, we just show up that depth there. So... Whoever is the starter there will have his backup. But those are all the moves we're going to do. We changed a couple overalls. Like Alex Otherwood's a 71 now. Um, Zamir White is a 73. I feel like he has lots of potential. And then um, offense runs pretty nicely. I, everyone on the offensive line is looking pretty solid. And uh, defense. Um, I want Trevon Morig to start over Deron Harmon. I don't see any reason why he wouldn't. But uh, D tag, we have Jonathan Hanks. And then Milton Williams here, which is not too bad. So we'll have some big bodies on the D-line to help that out. And um, yeah, let's uh, see how they do with their first season. So we actually end up making the playoffs. We won the division as well with, with this team. So the Raiders did their thing. And we're facing the Chiefs in the wild card who... Or was second to us, and we just beat the Chargers too. So 
Not too bad of a season for us. Derek Carr was third in the league with passing yards. He had 30 touchdowns as well. Devontae Adams led the league with receiving yards and touchdowns. Chandler Jones had 16 sacks. Okay. Interceptions. None of our guys well, defensively besides the sacks. Nothing too crazy. But our offense was second. So with Devontae Adams coming to this Raiders offense, he was second. Defense was 28th. So Derek Carr, 30 touchdowns, 12 picks, 4.8K passing yards, 97.5 passing rating. And Zamir White had a good set of runs hunter renfro like had a lot of attempts too um josh jacobs has 17 touchdowns 930 yards Devontae adams 1400 yards eight touchdowns hunter renfro uh, 1000 yards five touchdowns darren waller pretty solid keelan cole actually had a good amount of uh, touches too same with josh jacob and um zamir white had uh, his his fair share of as well defense so Chandler Jones had 16 sacks, but then made Max Crosby only had five. So that's very interesting to see. We didn't get that many interceptions. So with Chandler Jones coming, to, he got his sack total up, but for our guy, it didn't do much. So two years in a row with um Derek Carr making the playoffs essentially. So overall, as Derek Carr's in 86, he's balling. Offense line is balling as well. Alex Leatherwood's actually injured. He's actually dislocated ankle, so he's going to be out for the playoffs. So we're just going to have Billy Parker starting in his place. And, um, damn, it's looking looking pretty interesting. But defense, everyone's still healthy from the looks of it. So, and then it looks like we cut Deron Harmon, which makes sense. We didn't really need him. So, nice. So we're facing the Chiefs. We're home, so maybe that gives us an advantage. Maybe DA cooks up. I don't know. We actually did win, 31-17. to So, Derek Carr wins his first playoff game. We're facing the Jets now, who have Gronk. <laughs> who Gronk's on their team, apparently. And our center broke his wrist. So, he's going to be out for the remainder of playoffs as well. So, wow, that's crazy. But we ended up beating the Chiefs 31-17. to That's wild. That is wild. But... As we let's take a look at the team, what we need to do here. So, oh my gosh, our center is terrible. A 61. That's not a 61 at center against the Jets. I mean, they went what 11 and 6. Let's see who if they have anyone crazy. I mean, I uh, hopefully we'll game plan properly. But damn, the Jets going 11 and 6. So Zach Wilson didn't do too bad. They have Brees Saul who went off on us with 14 touchdowns, 1,200 yards. Corey Davis, corners wise, we're going to have our hands full. Defense, oh yeah, definitely not worried about their pass rush at all. But still, I feel like they might abuse us. So I don't think that we can even pick up a center right now if we wanted to. But let's see what free agent centers are available. See who can help us here. Hopefully somebody. Somebody, please. Ben Garland, he's a 71. Yeah, why not? We'll pick up Ben Garland just because uh, a 61 to help us out, that's not ideal. Not ideal whatsoever. But Divine Diablo, he's still here. Amir Abdullah, he's the fourth running back. Amik Robertson is a cor bench corner. All right, we don't need Amir Abdullah. We have Zamir White, Kenyon Drake, and Josh Jacobs. I'm pretty sure these guys can handle their, their fair share. But let's face the Jets. We're away, so we actually ended up winning 31-24. to Wow. So we're on to the conference championship. The Raiders are back to the conference championship. DA is back into the conference championship as well. This is Derek Carr's first two wins in the league. We're facing the 12-5 Steelers. TJ Watt only had four sacks. Very, very interesting. And then the other... In the other conference, it is Saints-Falcons. Very interesting to see there. But we, we look like we're we're peaking at the right moment. We're taking dubs. No one got injured from this game either. And um, offense is just progressing really nicely. I think our defense is probably holding up. Chandler Jones is like, you know, leading that defense. Along with Max Crosby causing the pain. We got some good field generals in the middle. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, Steelers... I don't, I think they only have, um, Steelers, it might be Kenny Pickett we're playing against. It is, we're playing against Kenny Pickett, and he is a monster from the looks of it. He has a 94 pass rating, he's been balling. Najee Harris, 15 touchdowns, 1,300 yards. 
Deontay Johnson and Ch Chase Claypool are all both doing their thing as well. So we got to keep that in mind. And defense, we got Cameron Hayward, De Devin Bush, Miles Jack to worry about. TJ Watt, of course, he's a problem. They have Carlos Dunlap as well. So we got our we got our hands we got our hands um full here, but let's let's see what we can do here. I don't think anyone can guard DA, so we ended up losing by two points, dude. Oh my gosh. Two points, dude. And then we got our guys back from injury. We lost by two points. It'll be Steelers, Falcons, and the Super Bowl. Losing by two points in this game in the conference championship. We probably lost by a field goal, dude. That is tough. That is tough. Um, let's look at the schedule here to see how the playoffs even went. Dude, that is so unfortunate. But we, we took dubs. We beat the Chiefs. We beat the fan favorites, of course. And Mahomes and... And Clark didn't really have too different of a game, but we had a lot of touchdowns, though. We had, we had three touchdowns between our running backs. DA had a touchdown, of course. Darren Waller led all teams. It's just one of those games we just took over, I guess. I mean, there's nothing much to it. And Trayvon Miller got a pick, so we just played well. I guess that's the best thing we could say with that. And then against the Jets, we... um. There, Zach Wilson threw a pick. Derek Carr went off, though. He, he got sacked twice. Uh, rushing Tech Kendrick had two tutties. And then Zamir White got his touches, too. And so did Josh Jacobs. I love that they're getting their fair share. It's, like, really nice to see. You. Elijah Moore, eight on a seven catches, 158 yards, one touchdown. We could not guard him for our life. But we still ended up coming away with the dub. Bilal Nichols had his own sack. Rockison had a pick. So it was a close game, but we came away. The game that we lost just by two points to the Steelers, which is insane. Kenny Pickett threw four touchdowns, two picks. We got sacked only once, but we got sacked four times. So offensive line help definitely needed. But Najee Harris had 25 carries, 105 yards. So we kind of limited him. Didn't do too well, so which is nice to see. Josh Jacobs had a touchdown. Deontay Johnson, 12 catches, 171 yards, one touchdown. So we have to go for a corner. Corner is like our biggest thing. Miles Jack sacked us three times, so they blitzed us properly. If we have a middle linebacker sacking us three times, Max Crosby got in on the play, but and we also had two interceptions from middle linebackers. But it was still overall a close game, so I am nothing to complain about there. So, um, I like I like how we're moving there. Let's see the Pro Bowl roster. I think like all of our guys definitely made the Pro Bowl. Derek Carr, of course. Um. Not our running back, though. DA, of course. Tight ends, none of our guys, surprisingly. Offensive line, none of our guys again. Defense, Chandler Jones. Okay, Max Crosby made it, surprisingly. Middle linebackers did not make it. Corners, safeties. Okay, so things that made sense. Max Crosby, not really, but I guess because he's, a, again, a fan favorite, so I guess that makes sense. But we did pretty well with that run. Um, I don't know how much we have about 57 million. Okay, so and Alex Leatherwood's back from injury Steelers Falcons Super Bowl the winner is the Falcons ended up taking the W 34-28 Super Bowl MVP went to Cam Newton. Cam Newton went to the Falcons Lamar Jackson won NFL MVP and offense play of the year Aaron Donald won defense play of the year rookie of the year went to Trevor Lawrence and defense rookie of the year went to Devin Lloyd nice All right can't complain, right? Gotta gotta take it. We got to re-sign some players now. We have about 79.6 million. It might be DA's contract here, right? Maybe we should have just like gave him the contract. Like while we were like editing the players. Because let's see. I hope DA is not on here. He's not. He's not. Okay, cool. So we have him under contract, of course. So Jayon Brown, who played really, really well. I think he deserves to get re-signed, and he's young too, so. We get him back. He's going to be in the middle with us. We don't need Demarcus Robinson. We don't need Keelan Cole Sr. as well. I'm going to... I'd rather draft someone. I'm getting a new corner. Darius Phillips. Yeah, I'm getting a new corner. Kenny Young. I like to have the depth of the middle linebackers to be secured. So we get him back. And um, Tyron Johnson. He has good speed, good size. So we're going to pick him up. Just for depth, of course. Vernon Butler Jr. He's only 28. A one-year deal. I think he'll take it. Yep. Tyler Lancaster, he didn't do too much for us as well, but we're going to sign him just for depth, of course. Roderick Teamer Jr. Why not re-sign him? 
Brandon Parker, he's actually pretty young. He's actually pretty young, so we'll get him for depth. Jermaine Illuminor, he has great strength, so I like to play for a new team. All right, go play for a new team. Nick Mullins, QB, he's gone. Jesper Horstead, I think he's here just for like long snapping duties, so we're gonna re-sign him. But okay, so we signed, we re-signed all those guys. Okay, not too bad. And we have about close to 50 million to work with when it comes to free agency. And I'm not gonna choose a draft class. We're just gonna we're just gonna see the best players available. So cornerback, we just have Trayvon Mullen Jr. and Rocky Sin. Nothing really of value here. Safeties, we're good there. Linebackers, Cleveland Farrell actually is still here on the team. Inside linebackers is good. We have Max Crosby. He's good there too. D tackle is definitely a position of need, but there's obviously nothing good here. Offensive line, honestly, I'm actually pretty content with my offensive line. Um, I'll sign Sam Tavai to be the backup, but really content with the offensive line. Tight end, we're good there too. Receivers, really good there. Fullback, I'm not really stressed out. Like, we're honestly, like, not... Like, there's nothing really we need in free agency. Um, I know we'll have, like, a lower pick, but I'm going to import the draft class. So, one thing I think I could try is trading for a corner. Because... With our picks, we have the 30th pick. Our picks aren't too crazy, so there's not going to be much gems sitting there. And I feel like we can maybe get like a top corner from just like trading like trading for someone. So I want to trade for a young corner who can have the potential to be like the next best thing, you know. So Patrick Sertain would be amazing to pick up here, giving them a first rounder straight up. They would do it too. So I think I'm going to do it. Give them a first and a fifth. For Patrick Sertain. So now we got a new cornerback one. Excuse me. And Patrick Sertain. He's going to be a Rocky Sin. And um, the other guy we have. Which will be super nice. And then with doing that. We're going to trade. Um, We're going to trade someone. I think I was going to trade one of the corners here. No. All of our corners are young. Yeah. All of our corners are young. I was going to trade someone else though. Was it going to be Anthony Averett? Maybe trade Anthony Averett for a D lineman. Yeah, maybe we trade him for a D lineman. See what who's available, honestly. Because that is a position of need. And Ed Oliver could be a monster if we trade for him, though. They're definitely not going to accept that. But they're actually interested. So... I feel like a third of next year and Anthony Avery will go through. It does. So we just short up that position. So it's looking pretty good. I mean, now we still have our second round pick. We can trade for a left end now. Or no, we can draft the left end in the draft. And I think with the moves we made, we'll be pretty solid. Ed Oliver will help that D-line a lot. Um, and we'll probably draft the receiver. We could probably sign a receiver. Definitely sign a receiver. Definitely sign a backup center as well. Yeah, I'm going to sign a backup center. Sign a receiver. Sign a receiver, a backup center. Draft the left end. And then everything else is just amazing. Yeah, look at this team. It's on paper, it just looks amazing. He's wearing his number seven as a as a Raider. He was drafted to the Broncos too. So, yeah. Well, all right, the, team's, the team is going to be all right. The team's definitely going to be good. And um, let's uh, do those moves. So we ended up signing Paris Campbell and Lamont Gallier to be um, the backup. So Paris Campbell will be our new wide receiver number three. And he has good speed, good size. And so he'll be there to be that person to kind of take the cap off the defense, you know. As DA will be the deep threat and just the everything guy. And Hunter Renfro is just the slot guy. So Paris Campbell will be there to kind of, you know, woo -woo -woo, you feel me? So now we can head into the, oh, we got 50 year options. I did not see this. Oh, Cleveland Farrell? Pfft. No, he's gone. He's uh, he's not like after this season, he we're not picking up his option. Like it's, it's it's crickets for him. Oh, we got another one too. It's probably this one's probably Josh Jacobs, Ed Oliver. Damn, we didn't even get to. Whoa, we should we should have scouted him. We should have scouted him. 
Honestly, we should have scouted Howie before him last year. Maybe we should start doing that when we start looking at guys to pick up for the team like guys will trade for. So let's look at Ed Oliver, see what he did last season. Um... Overview, stats, and contracts. So, last season, what did he do? He had, oh, five and a half sacks. Oh, so in 17 tackle for losses. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's going to help us out a ton. A ton. So, we're very happy with that. And everyone has their respected number. Um, Ed Oliver Ward, number 91. But I think someone has it, like Bilal Nichols. So, respect is, you know, kept there. And um, now let's um, go to the draft and see if we can get our new left end. So we drafted a kid named Akeem Messidor from West Virginia, left end. He fits our scheme and his stats looked pretty solid. So he'll probably be like a 53. So, <laughs> oh, so he wasn't too bad as a 69 overall. We also drafted another one who praised Amamulu. He's a 64. Then a tight end who's a 67 or 68, actually. My fault. I was looking at the awareness, but not too bad. We picked up some interesting players but i think with this second year hopefully we'll uh do it because other than that everyone's gonna be out of their prime everyone's gonna be older so we'll show you guys the team i think we definitely upgraded from last year hopefully we can go back to the conference championship and maybe even go farther than that um da was the best receiver in the league statistically of course Derek carr he's gonna do his thing uh we got paris campbell now Tight ends are good. Offensive line is pretty solid. Uh, de defense. Defense, I don't even have to say anything. This, these guys just look amazing. Vernon Butler is going to only be the weak link, I'd say, but I think he'll perform well. But I like our corners. I like what we're doing here. And, um, yeah, let's see how we do. And, of course, we went 6-11. We just beat the Broncos 31-12. to But, you know, that's what I don't get with simulation is that how do we do better how do we do worse when we do better a second year or when we get better players the second year? Their car had 5,000 passing yards, 26 touchdowns. Hunter Renfro had 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. Aaron Donald and Robert Quinn went sick with sacks, but that's what I mean. I know I'll, ne I'll never understand, but our offense was second in yards, so offense is not a problem. Defense was 18th, so 26 touchdowns, 16 picks for Derek Carr. Maybe that was the issue. Who knows? And then receivers, damn, we had three receivers at over a thousand yards, so the yards wasn't a problem. Max Crosby had nine and a half sacks, so better than last year. Chandler Jones only had eight. Ed Oliver had seven and a half, so he came in and was a force for us. So I'm kind of interested to see what if now we change quarterbacks? Like we, we let's say we drafted someone, right? Uh, because we have our first rounds, so. I'm going to see, mate. I mean, Derek Carr, he's still a good quarterback, though. Like, that's the thing. He's still a good quarterback. He's top three in passing yards. He's slinging the rock, but I need him. He had a lot of interceptions. He's not, like, getting that 50-plus touchdown that I'm looking for. Broncos, Packers, in the Super Bowl. Did not expect that. I know DA's punching the air right now. But DA did not make the Pro Bowl. Running backs didn't. Receivers, Devontae, uh, Devontae made it, and so did uh, Hunter Renfro tight ends none of our guys again which is so annoying to see d-line chandler jones made it oh no chris jones ed oliver made it max crosby made it that's awesome so max crosby went back and then and then ed oliver was actually very helpful for us um Derek Carr's is probably regressing he's probably like 33 now so in the packers broncos super bowl we got it. We get to see who makes that. Packers ended up winning the Super Bowl, and um, Devontae's punching the air. Aaron Rodgers won Super Bowl MVP. Aaron Donald obviously is Aaron Donald, and um, he's mad. <laughs> They're mad. As simple as simple as that. Let's see who we need to resign. If we need to get, I mean, we went six and eleven. We're gonna have to go for a quarterback, obviously. And um, I'm not gonna trade for a quarterback. I, I, actually, do we trade for a quarterback and see if he could do it? I mean, I don't know. Josh Jacobs, he wants a new contract. He has 87 speed. I did not know that. That's not that fast. But we're going to give Josh Jacobs a new contract. I think he deserves it. We get him back long term. Trayvon Mullen is one of our depth corners, one of our starters. So he gets the con. You're testing free agency? Bro, come on. 
All right, Rocky Sin, you gotta come back though. If you're gonna, if he's gonna leave, you gotta come back. Simple as that. Like, why are you not trying to come back, dude? Hunter Renfro, Pro Bowl wide receiver. We're gonna give him the absolute money needed to come back, and we do. Jonathan Abrams, starting strong safety. Hasn't really done much because he's a run support guy, but he's just not interested in signing. Okay. Bilal Nichols, we need you back. You're a focal point in the D-line, and he's back on the team. Denzel Perriman, looks like we're getting a new inside linebacker. Goodbye, Cleveland Farrell. Foster Morrow, no, we already got a new tight end. And Kenyon Drake, you know, you're, you're nice for us, but we got Zamira White, so we don't really need to keep along with that. Franchise stack for Jonathan Neighbor would be 15.5 million. And then the franchise stack for Trayvon would be 20 million. I'm honestly gonna let both of them walk and sign a new strong safety. Um, I hopefully we have a good pick to work with, but let's see. Lamar Jackson's a free agent, of course he is. So strong safety. We got a Monty Hooker here. I'm gonna see if we can sign a Monty Hooker. Strong City from Iowa. We're still second to the Raiders. I mean, to the Niners, who are so interested in him for some reason. So we're going to have to give him, like, about 5.7 mil. We're going to have to, like, break the bank for him. All right, now we're number one, Bozo. Trevon Morris has a superstar fact there, so that's amazing. Patrick Sertin and Rock Yassin are doing really well with upgrading. So Greedy Williams would be a perfect guy to throw in here. Let's see if we can pick him up. We'll be number one there. Chandler Jones is slowly just regressing, which sucks, but it is what it is. Rashawn Gary would be amazing to pick up. We wouldn't be able to afford him. You don't even have enough salary cap. Thank you. Thank you. I know that. Thank you. Bobby Okereke to be in the middle with Jayon Brown or Cole Holcomb. Honestly, Cole Holcomb would probably be the best bet here. We'll do another season with, um, with uh, Chandler Jones. I have faith in that guy. D-line, we're looking good. Offensive line is actually progressing really nice. So no worries there. Tight end is good. Receivers is good. Fullback, don't need one. Running back, we got Josh Jacobs and Zamir White. And quarterback, I'm going to draft someone. Yeah, I'm going to draft someone. As much as I'd like to get Lamar Jackson, <laughs> we're going to definitely draft someone. So let, let's see we pick up these guys so we don't have to worry about getting um. Picking up someone else in like the draft. I want to use oh, Monty Hooker rejected us. Oh my gosh, you don't have to be this annoying. <laughs> you don't have to. Gave you the most money you don't want to sign. Alright, you know, if we sign Jordan Poyer, alright, he's asking for a lot of money though. Jonathan Abrams not trying to get signed. Jordan Poyer would be nice veteran in the back end. If he's fast, 87 speed is not too bad. So I give him a deal like this if he wants to sign. Then we have a veteran in the back to help mentor Trevon Morig and our young corners, honestly. And um, we got Greedy Williams, so that's perfect for the defense. So now let's see if we pick up Jordan Poyer and get that veteran in the back. We do, so that's nice. So now we're going to go into the draft. They say we need a left end or quarterback. I want a quarterback to start, but it's like Derek Carr is like, he's been solid those first two seasons. So... Would it be wrong if I get got Derek Carr's replacement? Like, I don't know. They say our biggest needs is left end and um, quarterback. We have, all right, we have the seventh pick in the draft. If there's a quarterback available, I will pick him up. So look, the Giants has picked up a quarterback, Gregory Fry. So look, yeah, exactly. Quarterbacks, there's nothing available here, so we'll just wait for that. We're in no rush. But left end, they have a kid named Devonta Jackson. And C block shed, defense move, B tackling. Always looks real. Relies on a swift long, blah, blah, blah. He has elite excel, B play rack. Doesn't look too bad, Devonta Jackson. And then we also have Trevon Streets. He is physical, he's the fastest the end. B awareness, A play rack. All right, whoa, that's insane. I might have to pick him up. And then there's a good right end here, too. His name is Sean Brown from Boston College. He, A tackling. Physicals are pretty nice. B play rec. Now, nah, we're going to get that Trevon or Tremaine Streets, I think. 
Travion Streets. We're going to pick him up. I think he'll be a monster. Hidden dev, 83 speed, 79 strength. Yeah, he might be a monster for us. So we picked him up. And then now it's like there wasn't any good quarterbacks remaining. So it's like, or in the draft. So I'm going to see again who's here that we could pick up. Oh, we can maybe draft a safety and pick up a quarterback after. So we got Jimmy Sasso here. We, we're in need. He has B hit power, C tackling, 6'4". His acceleration is marginal. I haven't seen that in a while, which is marginal. But he has D play rack, C block shot. I feel like he can get that a little bit higher with us. Then there's also, oh. Okay, hold on. I thought that was the free safety. So there's another one here, Damon Parker. He's a second rounder, D man coverage. He has poor side. There's a difference between marginal and poor. So we're gonna get Jimmy Sasser. To be backing up Jordan Poyer. He has hidden dev, 87 speed, so not too bad of a pick. And then in the fourth rounder, we're in fourth round, we're gonna just draft our quarterback of the future. See if we could uh develop that kid nicely. And um, yeah, that'll be um this will be our last season trying to get after it. And we have Dalton Tomlinson and then Zach Bush. Dalton Tomlinson is a 5'11 quarterback from Memphis. Um, he has D awareness, D break sack, F carrying, F juke move. I'm drafting him. Normal dev, 86 throw power. He might be trash, right? But we're gonna make him nice. So now let's go to the end of the draft. So now we look at the draft recap. Oh, so Travion Streets was actually a 75. Yo, that quarterback was a 56. Oh my god. That quarterback was literally a 56. A 56 overall quarterback. Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. I have a video idea with that 56 overall quarterback. But we're gonna finish. <laughs> we're gonna finish off and see. We're gonna show you guys how the team looks like. And Jesus Christ, dude. Oh <laughs> 56. 56. Oh man, that is that is tough. That is tough, but excuse me. Um, Derek Carr's here with his backup, the 56 overall. Running backs are good with Zamir White and Josh Jacobs. Receivers still the same. Offensive line looking pretty good. We just need a third tight end for the, just for the tight ends. Linebackers look really good. Um, Cole Holcomb is our new pickup. We have Travion Streets here as our new left end, so he'll be nice there. Cornerbacks, Rocky Sin, Greedy Williams, and Greedy, uh, and, uh, Patrick Sertain. Safety's amazing, of course. But, um, yeah, the game looks nice. And so let's see if uh, they can go back to the playoffs. Oh, my gosh. This tough division. We went 9-8, and eight, but everyone was positive in the division. Oh, that's tough. We have $112 million in cap available. I I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. So Raiders. Raiders are playoff contenders. We will just leave it at that. The team is nice. Um, Chiefs went 13-4. Chargers went 10-7. Broncos went 10-7. We went 9-8. Gregory Fry, so yeah, as you can see, everyone went down in terms of uh, like how effective they were when it comes to throwing the ball, like Derek Carr, so offense was six, still not too bad, he was fourth in passing yards, he had 33 passing touchdowns this time, our defense was 22nd, so defense is kind of like, you know, wishy you watch it here and there, but Derek Carr kind of got a touchdown total up, Josh Jacobs had 1,000 yards, 15 tutties, and then we had three 1,000 yard receivers, and one of them Happened to be Paris Campbell, who only had 66 catches. So that speed, I'm telling you, worked out really well. And um, Ed Oliver had 12 and a half sacks. Max Crosby had six. Chris Chandler Jones had seven and a half. So Ed Oliver was a great pickup, a great trade. Jayon Brown had five picks as well. So not too bad. I mean, the team's the team's good. The team's definitely good. Um, getting them into playoffs is it is a tough division with Russell Wilson, Jay Herbo, and Patrick Mahomes. So can't really do much about that but i want to see who made the pro bowl before we um say sayonara but not too bad i i enjoyed this rebuild i think it went really well going to the play them going to playoffs and uh, i think it shows that the raiders in real life will definitely have potential as long as um the texans and niners in the super bowl as long as uh you know our boy Derek Carr wants to throw the ball well but he didn't make the pro bowl of course neither the josh jacobs receivers None of our guys. Darren Waller made the Pro Bowl, which I think was the first. 
Offensive line, none of our guys again. D-line, Ed Oliver definitely definitely had to make the Pro Bowl. No linebackers, none of our guys, none of our linebackers made it either. Very, very interesting. Safeties, none of our guys. So we got disrespected from the Pro Bowl, but still, nonetheless, this is a team that slept on, so they did pretty well. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below what other teams want to see me rebuild. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, you got to be free and succeed. Peace.